Hello everyone, and welcome back to some more Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. It's been a while since the last one. Of course, I just took a little break on the Chan Chan, but I am back. So, we're here at the Hatino Ancient Tech Lab. Or, yeah. If the flame is blue, the furnace is hot. Do not touch. I don't know what flame it's referring to, but yeah. Last time we got to the Hatino Village, checked it out, and now we're at this Tech Lab, which is where Impa told us to go. So let's head inside. And it looks like we got two people and another one of these things. Let's talk to this girl. Oh, good morning. This is the Hatino Engine Tech Lab. Do you have some business with the director? Uh, yeah, I do actually. The director's in the back. A terribly busy person, that one. Please try to keep it brief. Okay. That thing's cool. Anyways, this is the director, I assume? Good morning. I imagine you've never seen so many books in one place. Pretty incredible, isn't it? We've gathered all of Hyrule's known literature on ancient civilizations here. As for the actual number of books, well... Mm -hmm. Is that... Is that, that thing on your waist? Is that a Sheikah? <gasps> There's no mistaking it. That's a real Sheikah slate, isn't it? I've never actually seen one in person. If you could just show me the runes on it, I'd be most appreciative. Stasis. Ah, Magnesis. Yes, yes. The Remote Bomb and Cryonis, and what else? Let's see. So that's it for runes, but... Hmm, strange. It doesn't seem like you have the basic runes. I don't understand why they're missing. There must be some reason. Ah, where are my manners? I, for, I've, I nearly forgot to introduce myself. My name is Simon. You are... Link, right? You know my name? <laughs> Lady Imper caught me up to speed. You see, we were told a young man holding a Sheikah slate will appear, and you must do all you can to help him. He will be the hope that awakens from the slumber of restoration. His name will be Link. Oh dear, I forgot to tell you something very important. Uh, Director, listen, Miss, Miss Director, th this is a real Sheikah slate. Director? Oh, that's right, I haven't introduced our director. Miss Pura happens to be right over there. As for the as the Hatino Ancient Tech Lab director, Miss Pura is the world's foremost authority on ancient Hyrule culture. Check it. <laughs> I have the utmost respect for Miss Pura and all she's accomplished. I'm honored to be her assistant. On that note, Link, you see the director may look like a young girl, but well, maybe it's not my place to be telling you these things. You should talk to Miss Pura herself. Apparently, this girl is the director and has done many accomplishments. Hey, hey! Are you surprised? <gasps> the director of the laboratory is not Simon. It's me! Snappity snap! Anyway, Linky, you remember any dream... I can't do that. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna change up the voice. Anyway, Linky, you remember any dreams from your time, the slumber of restoration? You don't look like you've changed a bit in the last 100 years, but something must have happened in all that time. Well, no matter. I'm just happy you're still in one piece. Linky, but what's that look? You do remember me, right? Yeah, I'm gonna be honest, I don't remember you. But really? Well, I'm so shocked I don't know if I'll ever be able to recover from this. Even though a hundred years ago I took you to the Shrine of Resurrection after Calamity Ganon fatally wounded you. Even though I was the one who put you safely in the Slumber of Restoration. Despite all that, you still don't remember me? Awkward. Hmm, as expected, uh, after a hundred years in Slumber of Restoration, Subject has lost all memories. Noted. Oh, sorry, I have a bad habit of taking notes rather abruptly like that. It's a charming quirk, isn't it? Um, anywho, do you have questions for me? Aren't you a child? <gasps> How very rude! Hmm, or perhaps not rude at all. I suppose that's actually a rather... I suppose that's actually a rather logical conclusion to jump to. The truth is, I look this way because of a failed experiment. Well, I say failed, but in some ways, it was, a it was a success. I documented the full affair in my diary upstairs, but the whole thing is embarrassing, so I insist you refrain from reading it. Anyway, enough about that. Back to the topic at hand. Here you are, after a hundred years, here to defeat Calamity Ganon, who is growing in strength with every passing moment, and to rescue our beloved Princess Zelda. That is, if you've got enough, if you've got the courage to try. And to help the one true hero, I... The I, the one and only Pura, will restore the basic functions missing from the Sheikah Slate. And what do you say to that? Uh, yes please. <laughs> I knew you'd say that. Alright then, first I need you to run an errand for me. 
What's with that look on your face? You didn't think I'd fix her Sheikah Slate for free, did you? I did. I thought you were offering that. Hmm. Post slumber restor restoration. Subject is plagued by presumptions. Tendencies. Noted. Let me explain what this errand entails. You know the unlit furnace on the wall just outside the laboratory? Could you please bring the blue frame from the ancient furnace in town? Oh, and also use it to light our furnace. This sweet little guidance stone will start working once you do that, allowing us to restore your missing runes. Hmm, I wonder what if a young woman these days still think, still say the things like sweet and little. Ah, oh, well, I suppose it doesn't matter anyways. Okay, okay then, I'm cutting on you for the blue fame. And yeah. So, if you don't have a torch already, they provide you with one right here, but... Yeah, I have a torch. I used it for this, basically. So yeah, right here. And this is a really cool laboratory. There are papers all strewn across the floor, books everywhere, and also, as the papers all across the floor, they have a little line here, and then nothing here. So obviously, Simmons the more neat one, and then they kind of divide their workspace between the two, which is very cool. Um, I guess before we find that blue flame, let's just... Okay, there's nothing up here. What, what What's the point of this ladder if there's nothing... Anyways, uh, but yeah, I'd basically say, there's, there's more stuff too. So here's the blue, this is the furnace they were talking about, so we have to get that lit. If we go up here, we can see this is not a room, that's just a wall. What is, that looks like a door frame. What is up with this, with these people? Alright, over here, it's a little umbrella, and there's that. And I believe this is Simmons' room. Yeah, very neat. Very organized. Probably Simmons' room. And then, the more we ha- Okay. Well, that's great. Wait, is that a chest? I thought that might have been a treasure chest for a second. No, it's not. Okay. Okay, but the more we climb up, however, the more we see papers just scattered around. Which is a really fun little thing. She asked us not to read her diary, so we're not going to. Today, at least. We might read it later. But as for right now, we're not going to. But yeah, so she said she wanted us to find the blue flame. Which, if we look around... That looks pretty blue to me. Let's check it out. You know, usually you would just parrot... Usually you would, you know, walk down, but since we, uh... We're already on top of there. It's much easier because we have our paraglider. I can't believe when I first played this game, I thought it was so weird, you know, that I had a paraglider right after I got the great got off the great plateau. But now it's like every time I start a new game, I'm just like, oh yeah, I forgot. I gotta remember, I don't have a paraglider. All right, now before we do that uh, blue flame thing, uh, there is something. Uh, I want to do that. I think it was last episode where I was. We started that side quest, and I actually it was the cricket one. You remember the restless crickets? You got to get ten. It took me a while, but I eventually did it. So now that I have ten restless crickets, so, oh yeah, he's over here. Now that I have ten restless crickets, I can come over to this guy, Manny. I think his name is. Checking everyone out today too. The checking just never stops. What is it? Got the goods. You have some Russell's crickets already? Wow, that was fast. Haven't even caught one yet. Uh, well, let me see those Russell's crickets you caught. You really got them? I thought you were just messing with me. Okay, so, um, yeah, that's ten. Uh, thanks, I'll take them. Uh, a little something for your troubles. Silver rupee, which is just 100 rupees. Thank you very much. Right then, I'll go ahead and catch the rest of them. Uh, then I'll take it a premium and we'll have that d d date. Oh, and no, oh no, my stutter. All right, and that side quest is complete. Uh, I'd say it's best, definitely worthwhile. You get a hundred rupees, which this is pretty early game. A hundred rupees is a lot in the early game, so basically an easy way. Just the way I did it was if if you're if you have the game and also want to play along was go down to, there's like a forest down there, and basically cut grass with your, for the sword or something, and um, also wear the, 
these stealth tights and basically sometimes when you cut grass a restless cricket will pop out and you can catch it and that's what I did. It doesn't have to even be there, you could just cut this grass and sometimes a restless cricket will pop out. So yeah. Alright, anyways, going up here, it looks like it's under a big rock. Oh no, I ran out of stamina. And yeah, that definitely is a blue flame. So, we are here, and we have to get all the way over there. This might be a little bit of a walk, but luckily along the way, there are these things we can light to kind of as little checkpoints. Um, if it starts raining, then these have a rusty brother. Oh, I can't carry it. Uh, these kind of have a sort of, uh, you know, roof above them, you could call them. And uh, basically, it will just, you know, not get affected by the rain. Whereas, if it started raining now... Oh my gosh. I forgot to mention. Oh yeah, it's raining. Dang it. Okay. Well, it looks like I'm staying at the inn. Uh, I guess I'll... I'll cut to you once I'm back. Oh! Link. 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 Be on your guard. Ganon's power grows. Rises to its peak under the hour of the blood moon. By its glow, aimless spirits of monsters slain in the name of the light return to flesh. Link. Please be careful. Okay, I'm going to be honest, I wasn't expecting that. Uh, that was a blood moon. And in this game, that's how enemies respond. Since this game is so huge, it, the game gets a bit buggy after a while. And that's the way they kind of reset the world. And it also, the blood moon's also kind of like a plot thing, too. It makes sense why every all the monsters are coming back. So I actually wasn't expecting that, so that probably was an abrupt cut that I just made. But it's fine. Um, here's a little speedrun strat, alright? I don't know if speedruns actually do this, but you can light your arrows on fire, and then, instead of, you know, going the long way, you can miss, and basically just, you know, uh, have to do it all over again. See, that's this is what speedrunners do. They intentionally miss, because it actually glitches the game a bit, so that um, when you're fighting Ganon, that Ganon will actually have 1% less health, which actually... Okay, looks like we're not doing that. Um... <laughs> uh, go... Can I go that way? I probably can go that way. I'm gonna go that way. Oh, there we go. Um, I also do want to point out, if you... You can light your weapons, like, with a... You can light Boko Clubs and other wooden weapons. But they will break after a while because every time, uh, like every second it's on fire or something, the Boko Club or whatever other weapon will take damage. But torches, meanwhile, actually don't take damage. They like You can have a torch lit forever and it will never take damage. Uh, the only way it can go out is either by like getting attacked, by you I think taking fall damage, or like it starts raining, which is actually what happened before. So yeah. Not very lucky for me. Let's go around this way. Anyways, uh, yeah, this is kind of not the most interesting thing to watch. So I'm just going to cut to you once I'm pretty close to the tech lab. Alright, uh, we are almost at the tech lab. Just going to light a couple more flames and we're good. You actually don't have to light those across the way if you don't want to. The only one you have to light is that furnace at the top. But I just find it helpful because if it starts raining again, you have your progress kind of saved. And here we have Tech Lab. Oh, look at that. Now, with that, you can basically fast travel here. So I could just uh, teleport here at any time. All right. And then also, if you wanted to, uh, this is kind of what I do. 
before you even come up here for the first time, you could autom you could just like, you know, bring the flame up the first time you come here, so you don't have to come up, go down, come back up like I did. Uh, but you know, I just wanted to show you what you would play the game normally like. Anyways, Pura, what's up? Hey you, Linky, thank you so much. Now and take a look over here, there. The guidance stone must be starting to react. There's nothing mysterious about it. This is just pure science. Heh, <laughs> my sweet little guiding stone. You know, you sure know how to make this old researcher's heart flutter. Well then, let's go ahead and restore those Sheikah Slate runes for you. Give me a nice snap. Oh, go on. Don't, no time to be shy about it. Snap? Hmm, um, that was pretty weak. But that's okay. Okay then. Sheikah Slate repair underway. Guidance stone lock removed. Now, let's do this thing. Placing this thing under the thing once again. Under the thing? It's more like in the thing. Whatever. Cheek Slate authenticated. Camera. Hyrule Compendium and album file. Missing files confirmed. Starting repair. And we're going down, 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 down. Do, 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 do. And drop. This is an unskippable thing. I, I kind of wish you just could because... You watch this cutscene so many times throughout the game. But so many, it's probably like, like 20 times. Which is pretty, yeah. Anyways, we got a new rune. Camera. And we got a bunch more pictures, I guess. I don't know what those are. And we also got this thing called the Hyrule Compendium, which looks like just a bunch of like blank slots. Repair complete. All right, nice. And it's done! So, is it all fixed up now? Hmm, let's see here. Which one is it? Camera, I will Compendium, Album. Yep, looks good. So, I know this is sudden, but hear me out. Take a picture of me with the camera. Oh, and don't forget to let me see it. Alright, so apparently... I'll take a picture. So, our camera rune is active, and... Snap! Save in Album. Alright. And then we can talk to her again. Hey, how's the picture taking going? Did you take a cute pic of me with the camera? I took one. Ooh, I can't wait to see it. Let me see, let me see. Okay, I mean, it's fine, I guess. <laughs> hmm? My, who is this beautiful creature? No, it's who is this beautiful creature? Dot, dot, dot. Huh, oh, I guess that's my cute. Sorry, I kind of lost it there. It, was, it wasn't on purpose. Hmm... Ah, uh, it's not just a pretty girl in these images. Yes, there's some, also some old landscape photos stored in the album. I knew Princess Zelda ha had made frequent use of the camera feature, but this... Hey, Linky, it dawns on me that you are Princess Zelda's appointed knight, which means there's a strong possibility that you accompanied her to all of the places where these pictures were taken. Oh, right, the lost memory thing could prove troublesome. Hey, but don't lose hope. It just means that pictures could... that these pictures could be the missing pieces to help restore your lost memories. My hunch is correct. I suggest you check in with Impa. She knows more about Princess Zelda than I even do. Oh yeah, there's just one more thing I need from you. You don't have to worry about this until after you see Impa, but I want you to bring me some ancient materials. Bring them back to me or Robbie at the An Akala Ancient Tech Lab. As if it were my joy enough. If you bring us ancient materials, we'll give you some something good as a reward. Alright, let's do this. All right, locked memento. So now we have to go back to Impa. But okay, uh, if the, if you bring me some ancient materials, I'll power up your runes. You'll need three ancient core uh, ancient screws to power up your Shiga sensor, three ancient shafts to power up your remote bombs, and three ancient cores to power up stasis. If we're on the same page, stop staring at me. If we're on the same page, stop staring at me. Hurry! Is that how do you read that? Oh, I don't know what that even means. Hurry up and bring me some ancient materials. Okay, so... Robbie's research. So you can basically... Another kind of side quest you don't have to do, but I would recommend this one in particular. Which is, you can basically bring her materials. So screws, springs, and cores. We have 13 screws, 2 springs, and 0 cores. So we'll do the one where you get the upgrade springs. I think you should... Yeah, I want... Yeah, power up ancient materials. There we go. I'll power up a rune on your- I'm game, I'm game. 
Uh, she can sense her because I think that's the yeah, three ancient screws. Three ancient screws and a cute snap. Here we go. Snap. Hey ho, got it. Okay, she can sense her upgrade underway. Guidance stone lock removed. Now, let's do this thing. And then this whole animation again. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, we get it. So you can say it authenticated. So I do want to explain the Sheikah Slate. So as Piero was saying, the Sheikah Slate that we have is actually once used by Princess Zelda 100 years ago. And, you know, we saw that camera rune feature thing. And, oh, Sheikah Sensor Plus. Nice. Basically, the album, it, Princess Zelda took a bunch of pictures and we probably accompanied to take care of those pictures. So I'm just going to put that up. Sheikah Sensor upgrade complete. Nice. And, let's see what Pure has to say about that. <laughs> Yahoo! My little guidance stone did the trick. <gasps> oh, the Sheikah Center Plus. I really want to see it. Yeah. Yes, quite. Yes. If you, so, if you don't mind, how about show Shimon that sp sp spiffy Sheikah Center Plus later? What's up, Simon? Hello, uh, you've acquired the Sheikah Center Plus. That sh really should come in handy. <gasps> with that, you can sense things you've captured with your camera. Explaining it won't do justice. Why not learn by trying? Let's give it a shot, so to speak. Let's see here. First, go take a picture of a stun shroom with the camera. There's one behind the lab. Okay. Our camera is here. Oh, there it is. Stun shroom. Boom. Saved. And image added to the Hyrule Compendium. Pick it up while we're at it. Alright, Simon, what's up? Ah, this is a weird angle. Were you able to take a picture of the sun shroom? Yeah. Let me confirm. It seems like you got a picture of the sun shroom. Excellent. Now, open your Hyrule Compendium and tune your sensor to the picture of the sun shroom. The Shikan Center Plus will be able to sense the sun shrooms. The detailed instructions are written down in the book on the desk here. You should read them. This seems like a very nice opportunity to ask, uh, ask you if you'd mind bringing me three sun shrooms. You can find some shrooms in the red sun forest, I believe. The Sheikah Sensor Plus should make it a snap. Alright, so if you don't remember, the Sheikah Sensor was the thing that helped us like detect shrines when we were near them. So, if we pick from the compendium, we now have a new thing in our compendium. Basically, you can take a bunch of pictures of a bunch of different things, and whenever you want, you can basically target them. So, if I will target this with sensor, and... Now it is targeting that and it tells me that a sun shroom is indeed nearby. So we already have one sun shrooms, one sun shroom. He asked for three. So yeah, let's go find some more. Uh, I think it's just, it's really just down here, I believe. All right, this is where it is. Oh, I could have died there, gonna be honest. All right, sun shroom one. Oh, I didn't mean, I meant to, I don't know why I attacked it, I meant to press A. And Sunshroom 2, uh, might as well take this high tail Lizard while we're at it. There's actually a bunch of stuff down here. Pretty good, I'm just gonna pick up this whole thing. Alright, I think we're good for now. So, let's uh, teleport back up there. Cut to you when I'm there. Alright, we're back, let's go speak to Simon about those things. I see you brought me to Sunshrooms. Okay, now hand over. I could just go, no, but uh, I'm not sure. Thank you. Here you go. Three hearty truffles. Nice. So, was the Sheikah Sensor Plus to your liking? Oh, yes, I just remembered. There was something else I wanted to talk to you about. Stop by when you have time to talk. Okay, I have time, I guess. I think I've got some news that should be music to your ears. I've found a way to help you, f you search for new objects using the Sheikah Sensor Plus. Please feel free to show, you, show your excitement. Anyway, as I was conducting my research, I found that there were some pictures of the past of past left on the guidance stone. If you add those pictures to your Hyrule Compendium, you can search for these their subjects with the Sheikah Sensor Plus. Is it hard? Hard? No, no, not at all. The Sheikah Sensor has been powered up to the Sheikah Sensor Plus. You can now access a picture registered in your Hyrule Compendium, allowing you to search for the subject of the picture. I trust you now that you will see the benefit of adding pictures to your Hyrule Compendium. It makes it much easier for you to search for items you need, reducing one more burden you face in your travels. Shall I explain it once more? I'm um, good. Now then, go ahead and place your Sheikah Slate on the Guidance Stone. Again? 
I don't normally like to let you people use my guy, little guy stone for free, but I kind of want to see what happens. So I'll just just this once to let it pass. Well, you heard her. Could you go do it and do the thing that I told you to do? That would be great if you could do that. Snap. This again. Wow, they really just love. Uh, I swear, this is like one of the last times we'll see it. I think this is the last time we'll see it today. So, yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know if my editing, I don't know if my editing software could actually speed up video. If it could, that'd be great. I would definitely do it right now, but they, they probably can. Anyways, uh, Hero Compendium, we have added that thing to it. Nice. Hero Compendium updated. There you go, I did the thing. Oh wow, this is... It seems the Hyrule Compendium recovered a picture from the past. It appears the picture was from the Guidance Stone. From the Guidance Stone was transferred to your Hyrule Compendium. You can't restore transferred pictures, so be careful of overwriting it. You can fill in open slots by taking pictures with the camera or using the, gui the Guidance Stone. And it won't be free from now on either. Keeping a lab like this running has expenses, you know. Uh, yes, what she said. So basically, instead of actually taking pictures, like, you know, that, and adding them to your compendium, you can uh, basically buy them from him if you're just too lazy to do it. So that's something that is kind of cool. I'm going to stop, I'm going to set that back to shrines, because I really don't really care about sunshrooms that much. Sorry, guys. But, Xavier's still over here. Poor guy. Um, I think that's where we're gonna... Let me think. Okay, we'll do we'll do one more thing. We're gonna go back to Kakariko Village, alright? Cut to you when I'm there. Alright, so we're back in Kakariko Village. Let's uh, head down here. And this is where our... Um, uh, not Impa. Pura told us to go back to Impa so we can talk to her about that whole picture thing. What is up, Imp? How's it going? Uh, hmm. Yeah, I heard Pura was giving you the runaround, but you just seem... You seem just fine. Lock mementos? Complete. Now then, let me see. Aha, this is, without a doubt, the camera that Princess Zelda used 100 years ago. could be that if you visit the locations within the pictures, you will be able to restore some of your lost memories. Come back here once you've tried going to at least one of those locations. There's something I wish to give you. And that's a new main quest called Captured Memories. Basically, you can go to any of the locations, where is it? Any of the locations Princess Zelda took pictures of, and there will be a little surprise waiting for you there. That's where we're going to end it. Next time, we're going to talk to this little guy. See you guys then.